Okay, now let's see how we can determine if we have a winner. So let's pretend like there's two players here. One guy, and I think the red is going to win. Okay, so if we have the situation, then now how do we detect in code that we have actually a winner? So what we want to do is we want to add a uh, get winner code uh, function that we can add to the game. But the idea is that we want to be able to determine if we have three cells in a row or you know or in you know whether it's like horizontal or vertical let me just show you what i want to do here so let's say this is this is our game board right so we want to add a function that will scan uh like uh, row by row right compares zero one and two if they are all matching and they're not zero meaning that they're either one or two then we have a winner so we scan the first row second row third row that's one uh, operation we want to do the second one will be to do it uh, vertically so we should compare 0 3 6 compare 1 4 7 and then compare 2 5 8 that's the second scan and the final scan should be the diagonal one where, where we compare 0 4 and 8 and compare 2 4 and 6 so that scans all possible winning situations if we determine that we have three that match then we can return from the function the winner player whether it's one or two so let's see how we can do that i'll close this app so let's go back here to add a new function I'll scroll all the way up okay so what we want to do now is add a function that's called get winner and also i want this function to return let's just return wins which is basically which three uh, cells have the 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 winning move right so this is useful if we want to display some indication to the user that this cell is actually or this is what uh, these the following you know cells contain the winning move so just put some note here that uh, returns the following this function returns the following zero if we have no winner one if player one wins two if player two wins sorry player two wins and then lastly there's a possibility that we can scan the whole board and there is actually no winner so three will indicate uh, a draw so it that means nobody won. we have a full board but nobody is is a winner so so that's the returning values from this function like i said before the case we want to just to simplify it we want to scan 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right this is the this is like how the bo game board looks like so how do we do this uh, basically we want to we can put up potentially write like a gazillion if statement or we can just simply uh, do it in a in a more professional way like the following we can say cells equals and we can have this array that contains all the possible uh, three cells that we want to scan each three together as in a single uh, patch so let me explain so i want to scan zero one two together and then i want to scan three four and five and then i would want to scan six seven eight so this covers all the rows we have this is horizontal scanning next we do vertical three zero three six and one four seven you know i'm looking at this here right and just capturing that information Okay, so that's the second column, the last column, two five five eight, and then now we want to do the diagonal zero four eight, so we can add zero four eight, and last one is two four six, so we do two four six. Cool. So this is the easy way of of doing this. So how do we do the 
check for one hour. Simply we do for integer i equals zero and i is less than so this is oh sorry there's a tab here sorry there's a missing semi a comma here so we know that we have one two three four five six seven eight times three that's 24 or if you don't want to really hard code it uh, again i would recommend you use like something like array size of cells this will tell you it's oh it's got 24 elements in it that makes our life easy okay so now the this is the tricky part we want to compare these three together then once we're done we jump to the next three so that means i don't want to increment i by one but instead i want to increment i by three i plus equals three so this is very important because otherwise you don't want to start here and compare the next three and then the next loop you start here and compare the next three and then the like the second iteration you start here and compare the next three that will be wrong right so what we want to do is just compare these together we're done move to these three together we're done move to these etc so that's how we do it here so now we can say if game board of i is equal to game sorry here we don't want to say i we want to say cells of i because we want to compare the element at this this is the index of the element right so that's what we want to compare against board of cells cells of i plus one and game board of cells is oh sorry i'm too fast here i should slow down a little so this is like this cells of i is equal to game board cells of i plus two <coughs> so let's let's just go back a little bit here uh, so basically what i'm doing is comparing the first element with the second and the first with the third I mean, here you can even say it's it's either i plus one or i is the same, right? If you want to compare this and this, and then you compare this and this, or you compare even this and this, as long as the three are the same, right? This is doesn't matter, right? So we compare the first and the second, the first and the the third, the third, and if they match, then we've got a winner. However, we gotta be careful here because we might consider we have a winner when we actually have a zero right so we should say if game if zero is not game board of cells of i <coughs> okay so we'll put this here so now this is more like it. Maybe I should zoom out a bit if, just to see the code. Okay, like this. All right, so make it 150%. Okay, so now we're comparing, making sure that's not zero. Then what we do now, we have a winner, right? We have a winner. So we can say wins of zero equals cells of i. So we're now capturing the winning cells. So like I said, maybe uh, next we want to somehow highlight the winning uh, cells so that it's clear to the player which, how, how they won. And now, the, like we said here in, uh, at the top, we said we want to return 1 if the first player wins, 2 if the second player wins, or 0 nowhere. So in this case, I think we want to return one or two. So the easiest way to do it is to say game board of cells of i, right? Because that either have one or two. So we don't have to check it, just get it for free. Okay, so this case checks for a winner. Next, what do we want to do? We want to see if we have either uh, 
an, a full board that both players have, you know, basically used up all cells. In that case, we need to return three, which indicates a draw. Or we need to say, oh, there's at least one empty cell left. So let's, let's return zero. That means continue playing. No one is a winner yet. So how do we do that? Okay, next see if we have any cells left empty, right? <clears throat> For again, integer i equals zero. i is less than ray size of game board. So we're gonna scan the game board cell by cell if if game board of i is zero the way to do it is to say if zero is game board of i return zero if at least we find one empty cell that means you know it's still we can continue to play continue to play otherwise the last uh, possibility we have which is return three it's a draw right we the, we we found out there was no winner there's no empty cell left behind, then that means definitely this is a, a draw. So, so let's, let's see how now, now we have this nice function. Let's see how we can call this function. And of course, the, where do we call this? It's basically whenever we click on an empty cell, right? This is the place where we click on an empty cell and then take over the cell draw it and then before we move to the next player we have here to say check for winners or for a winner all right so we can say integer winner equals get winner and we want to pass actually i it's let me just uh, make this global just because i know i want to use it later in a different location in the code so let me just go back up here and where we have our globals and let's here add integer winner equals zero and integer wins of three let's keep track of this globally as well and go back to our left button message here and then we say now okay here we are get winner wins right I give it the wins array okay so now what what possibilities do we have from this function if winner is actually one or winner is two then we have a winner here we have a winner how do we notify the players okay easy way in windows is to just throw a message box at them say h1 message box winner equals one so this is the message you want to display and say player one is the winner and this is using unicode strings otherwise I say player two is the winner. Oh, add exclamation just for fun. And then, so this is the text. The third parameter is the caption of the message box. And we can say, you win. And lastly, we have the, uh, if you want, what kind of, button do you have on the message box you want to have there's an ok button and then you can say mb message box icon uh, information just for your information just shows a different icon here in this case did i hit enter here by mistake sorry i might have hit enter by mistake here Normally, it's a good practice, actually, to, if you have very long lines like this, you can actually just break it down on multiple lines. So, for just ease of readability like this. And then you can, that way, 
this is how I would do it. This is more readable, at least it can. It, it fits within the screen. So this is okay. Now we have. So now we have displayed to the user that we have a winner. The next thing we want to do is we don't want to continue playing, right? We don't want to keep alternating roles. So to do that, I'm going to say player turn equals zero. And I will, I will handle this in a second. So now let's say else. If it's not one or two, what else do we have? If it's if winner is zero, then we can continue like this, right? Because we know we can continue the game. We're not gonna. Uh, you know, stop the game. But however, before this, actually, we say if winner equals. Oh, I accidentally did the mistake that I was trying to avoid here. If zero is winner. Yeah, this is better to do it this way. Three is winner. So a winner, in the case of three, it's a draw. So we just copy the same lines here and just change the text. We want to notify the players that, hey, it's a, it's a draw. In this case, we can just say, no, con, cons this time. Any text you'd like to, and then you say, it's a, it's a draw. Oh, no one wins this time. And then we can here say, just change the icon, icon, exclamation. Sounds good to me. And again, we stop. <clears throat> we don't want to, you know, keep on playing in that case. Even though we might have some empty cells, we don't want to con continue to play. And even though we do this here, we still haven't uh, used that value somewhere here. So the best place, oh, actually we do. I'm sorry, I put the code in here. I should take it out. I should say if zero is player turn. I think I did it before I recorded the video forgot to remove it by mistake okay so so this is how we should do it right so this means that only handle clicks if it is a player turn ie one or two okay so that's enough for let's let's test uh, this get winner thing so control f5 to compile and run we have errors then oh okay so it looks okay so let's test a winner case so here's one two here's one blue is here red is here okay so now it says you win player one is the winner okay so that's good so two things that are missing here uh, the first thing that uh, obviously is missing is that Oh, how do I start a new game? Uh, the only way now is to close it and run again. And the second thing is how do we know whose turn it is, right? We need to display some useful information here that shows player turns. Okay, so that's enough for now. Next, we will look at how to add file new to create a new game. And then how we can show some text around here to make it easy for the players to know whose turn it is, etc. All right, thanks. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment or share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel or like us on Facebook. See you in the next video.